Welcome everyone and welcome to my Mamelotti's first ever favourites. These are all my favourite products that I used in the kitchen in 2016. So if like me, you found something that you like to use in the kitchen, some product that you just fall in love with and you just, once you start using them, once you start cooking with them, you think, oh, this is the one. So I have these products which are my favourite from this year because I tried and tested loads of different products this year and I'm just going to share with you some which I have fallen in love with because Christmas is just around the corner. So I'm going to share some of my favourites with you, things that I've used throughout the year because it's time for that holiday fever and I want you to know where you can get them this Christmas. You know, just in case you want something under the tree and tell that special someone, guys, hint, hint, yeah. So here are my favourites. So first up is the Bra Infinity Pan. This pan is one that I've used in almost every recipe in my new book, because if you haven't heard, I have this new book over here, a bit of product basement. And it's just amazing because, I want to tell you why, you can take off the handle, ideal, so you can make things in the pan, put it in the oven, take off the handle. When it's finished, just put it back on really easily, take it out, fabulous. The Bra Infinity Pan is a non-stick, easy to clean, which is ideal, and you can find it everywhere on like Amazon, Town, you can find it in Coop Chans and Main Street. So go check it out. Tell them I sent ya, you know. And uh, yeah, so go check it out and let me know what you think because this has been my, this, this thing, this little thing has been my go-to all year. Yes. You can actually find a review of this product on the Mamalotti's website. Just go to lifestyle and product reviews. I'll have a link in the description because I'm going to have a link to all the products in the description box and uh, you can see them all. Just find them yourself. Let me know. Check it out. Give it a little looky look. So that's product number one. Right. So if you're into baking and you can't afford a KitchenAid because you know KitchenAids are amazing. I've used a few before. But if your budget doesn't extend that way, I have the solution for you because I bought myself the Breville mixer, which uh, has been my go-to cake mixer. You can see it in like almost all my cooking videos this season. It is uh, 60 pounds or so. I think I bought it for 60 pounds. You can get it almost anywhere in Gibraltar or Amazon. I'll have the links in the description below if you want to have a look at it. This is ideal because apart from having it as just a stand sits there mixer. You can also remove this. You can also remove the handle, which makes it even easier. If you just want to have the bowl, the bowl comes with it, it spins. You know, you can just make any cakes with it. It's so easy, it's so flexible, it's so accessible in the kitchen. It doesn't take up a lot of room, which is great if you have a small kitchen like me. So you can just store it away. And I think they might even have a range of colors. So I'll have a look. I'll, like I said, I'll link it below. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Do you have any other suggestions of mixtures that you like to use? Things in your budget range? I like to try new things, so let me know because I want to give other things a try. Let you know what they're like. Try and test them for you. So give me your suggestions. And speaking of mixes, I fell in love with a mixture this year. Okay, it's not a mixer, sorry, it's a food processor. So I fell in love with a food processor this year that, oh, just changed my life in the kitchen. It has absolutely made everything so much easier because, I'm gonna show you, oh shit, I don't break everything. I'm gonna show you this one, is the Kenwood Food Processor. This comes with two adaptable interchangeable features. You have the food processor, which comes with a jug and a selection of different blades. All these different blades give you different options. So you can slice, you can uh, whip, you can process your food, you can just blend everything, so if you're making soups, if you're making hummus, is what I used it for. All these different options, this is the one for you. And it's really, really simple because you can mix it with the blender. So once you've done one, if you want to use the blender, make yourself a little smoothie, make the soup in this one. Really, really easy, interchangeable, you just lock it in there, done. And you have two different speeds and a power booster speed for this one. Not very pricey, I think it was something like 60, 70 pounds that I spent on this one. I'll have the link in the description. You can have a look for it yourself, but yeah, this is the one. But let me know, what do you think? Do you, have you tried something else? Have you tried a different kind of blender that, or food processor blender slash blender mixer that you like? Yeah, I don't know. 
Yeah, tell me, tell me these things. Comment below. Comment because I want to know. I want to know what people are using in the kitchen. I want to know what you're using in the kitchen because 2017, I'm gonna try out new products. If I find something new that I like, I'll share it with you because that's what I like to do. I like to tell you what I'm doing. I like to share it with you. I love my voice went. I like to share what I'm doing with you. I want to know what you're doing in the kitchen. You know guys, we're a community. We're like friends. So I share, you share, you tell me. And I'm not done. I'm not close to finishing. I have something which I got recently and I tried to do a few different things in. And yeah, okay, let me tell you, I've made a few different things. Not very cheap, but I think it's your money well spent. This is the Le Creuset big ass pot. This is perfect for stews, perfect for curries, perfect for your casseroles. Now that it's winter, autumn time, this one will save your life because it is, it's cast iron. It will keep the heat for ages after you've finished. So you will make a stew that in that morning and have it at night. It's going to just carry on stewing away whilst it's on the pot, even though it's off. This keeps the heat. You can serve it, put it in the middle of the dinner table, get everyone to just pick out from it. Fantastic. And they come in a range of colors, which I have fallen in love with. It's marine. They have beige, which is like an almond color, which is fantastic. This is the red one because I got it so it suits the Mamelodi brand, you know, the dark red. Oh, and even better, they come in different sizes. So you got that big one, which I just showed you. You have an oval shape and you have these little cocottes, Oops, these little cocotte pots, which come in red, black, marine, almond, pink, everything you want. These are so fantastic. If you want to make like little chocolate lava cake pots in them and then you can just like serve it like this little stews that you can serve to your friends these are oh my god they're so cute i love them I love them they're so cute so so they're cast iron and although like i said slightly on the dearer side perfect i would recommend these because these are something that's going to last in your kitchen it's an investment product these are an investment product for your kitchen you can keep them, as long as you keep them well looked after, cook everything in them, and they're gonna last. So this one, the Bry Infinity Pan, are things which are gonna last. It's worthwhile because you don't want something that's gonna scratch, you don't want something that's gonna stick, you don't want something that's gonna spoil after using it two or three times. These are just really easy to clean as well. All you have to do is wipe them down with a bit of hot water and some soap. You don't have to Get a, thick, get a wire wool and just rub them because there's no need for that. It'll easily come off. So these are available in Main Street, in all your shops. Cook Trends has some, and I'm going to link some things below so that you can find them, have a look at them yourself. Check it out, have a look. This one, the small one, the pan, the everything. It's all for you, so you have to tell me. If you like the product reviews, if you want me to try new things, if you want me to try something specific, let me know. I'll try and get it. I'll test it out for you. I'll give it a try. I'll let you know what, you th what I think. I want to know what you think of products. So, shit, let's, let's talk to each other, okay? Let's, you tell me, I tell you. Fantastic. And don't forget the new Mama Lottie's cookbook with 100 recipes that you can make every day and using these products because I've tried and I've tested and I've used these products in the book. This is out already. If you haven't got it yet, perfect to get it in time for Christmas. Just tell that little someone to get it for you. Or treat yourself, treat yourself in the shops, get it now. It's 100 recipes, it is 225 pages long. You have a recipe, almost a recipe a day for three months. Although that's not, you're gonna look quick every single day, but that's the idea. So you'll be looked after. You've got soups. You have chickens, you have mains, you have fish, you have desserts. There's a range of everything. I put some twists on the typical Gibraltarian favorites. I've made my own recipes that you can try. I've tweaked some traditional style recipes. Give it a little easier to twist, easier version so that you can make them yourself every day. Most recipes take about an hour to two hours at the very most, but an hour and a half seems to be the average within an hour. So I think with the hour really. So you can come home from work, as long as you know what you're gonna get, as long as the ingredients are bought, you can make it easy, serve a great, great meal for you, for yourself, for your family, for everyone. And I think that's it from me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, let me know your thoughts. 
I'll see you very soon with a whole brand new series of recipes and videos and I'm gonna try and do lots of things for you this year. That's my aim. I keep saying this, but I will stick to it, I promise. So, see ya.